It was Gutenberg, a German, who invented modern printing. And German printing machines have long been among the best for reproducing words and pictures. But music? That is a printed loudspeaker. This professor at Hemnitz University in eastern Germany has been developing ways to print electronic components for over a decade. Traditionally, the success of printing was to, to structure images, as to print at the first time letters, today a lot of uh, colored images. And uh, in the future, printing will be the technology to produce electronics. So I'm, I'm very sure about this. The speakers use special inks that conduct electricity and vibrate when an electric current passes through. Layer upon layer is carefully laid down, and the process can be used on plastic as well as paper, costing only pennies a page. At the German Technical Museum in Berlin, the history of loudspeakers in telephones, gramophones and radios is on display for all to see and hear. The curator says printable speakers, should they catch on, will find a public ready to tune in to the new technology. People like to be surrounded by sound everywhere, at every time. In the beds, in the morning, at the breakfast, during their trip to work, maybe during the work, and so on and so on. So you need, meanwhile, quite different uh, types of loudspeakers for different situations and different types of sounds. The printing process doesn't just allow you to produce speakers, such as this one. You can also print off electricity-generating solar cells by the kilometer. A good way, perhaps, to power your musical water bottle in the future. The one with a speaker printed into the label. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Chemnitz, Germany.